G Mama Burke, happy Friday. This is Ray Roberts, founding member of APIA. I want to take a couple minutes just to do a year in review. APIA is celebrating its one year uh, anniversary, and tomorrow we will uh, make mention of that during the TESOL ceremony. Um, I want to just do a year review just to talk about some of our successes and some of the uh, shortcomings that we've had this year. Overall, I think we did, we have done a dynamic job. We have helped and supported teachers in receiving uh, employment. We have helped and supported teachers in providing professional development in their in their individual schools. We have extended uh, our reach to demand. We have uh, we have spread leadership um, and to uh, make members more responsible. And so we had an election, um, and we did we completed a a what nine month series on the culture of thinking as a professional development in the second half of our meetings. These are some of the highlights of this year. Some of our shortcomings is that we didn't meet the 1,000 member projection, um, and I know that was kind of a, a lofty goal. However, I think, and I know that we can meet 1,000 members, 1,000 active members. There's a lot of teachers in Saudi Arabia that need support. There's a lot of teachers throughout the world that need our support. So one of the things I want to focus on next academic year is increasing membership. And more important than increasing membership, but increasing active membership. Um, currently, we have about 200 people uh, who are in the WhatsApp group. We have about 80 people in the Google Plus group. We have about 70 plus people in the Facebook uh, group. Um, and everyone benefits from the information that gets exchanged in these platforms. And I would just like to see more people participate in the meetings. Next academic year, I plan on doing uh, something uh, which is kind of piggybacking on the um, idea of, uh, I, I took from the university and uh, something that Renette did in her meeting last week. And that's having a professional or doing what we call a teach meet where a peer members or anyone can come and take either three minutes and seven minutes to talk about something that they're doing well in the classroom. And we get to have that discourse with each other internally. Uh, we will continue to do other types of training, um, um, but uh, learning from each other is key, and that's why we exist. Also, I want to just briefly talk about the intent of a peer. A peer was founded with the with the understand with the idea that we're gonna we are we will support teachers and that we will provide resources to teachers and um, that continues to be the main focus and goal of APIA. Uh, not to APIA is not a uh, money making opportunity, nor is it a social opportunity. Although. Uh, I enjoy fellowshipping with everyone, and uh, fellowshipping is key, and it's a positive thing. I just want to remind people that we're not a party organization. Uh, we are an education uh, support group for teachers. And, we've, and again, we've provided all types of support that I'm proud of to teachers. Um, some, some teachers who... Um, weren't active members, but sought our support. So just keep that in mind. Please try to attend the meetings um, because what I've noticed is the people who have utilized uh, our services the most and my time the most are people who may not be the most active of members. I would like to acknowledge and thank all those people who did come up, come to our Saturday meetings at Dome International School every month. I really appreciate you. Um, enjoy seeing your face. Uh, and you did as well. Um, also, I, I'd like to thank, even though if he sees this video, I'd like to thank Dr. Anderson again uh, for dedicating his time to uh, meet with us every Saturday, uh, not every Saturday, but one Saturday a month uh, to discuss the culture of thinking. The culture of thinking is 21st century teaching and it's 21st century living. So please, please, if you haven't followed 
uh, us in our discussions about the culture of thinking. Um, please pick up Rich Hart's book. You can actually get it online for free uh, if you type in uh, uh, Ron Rich Hart. Um, and uh, eight characteristics, eight, eight ways to transform schools, cultures of thinking. Um, so, again, I'm very happy about what we have done. I look forward to next school year, the 2018-2019 school year. This theme, this year's theme was the cultures of thinking. Next year's theme will be no excuses. And again, I want to remind people, a P is here for support and to make sure folks get the proper credential. So one of the things, my main goal for next year is to get everyone who would like to be, to be properly credentialed. Um, TESOL is good. There's a lot of things that we're talking about in TESOL, uh, but TESOL is not enough. Credentialing a teaching license is, is where you want to be as a teacher. You want to be licensed, actually certified. TESOL and CELTA are not certifications. They're, they're just training. They're very good. They're excellent. I love them. Um, but I would like to see everyone get licensed. And there is an opportunity in America to license even teachers who are not American citizens. So we're going to follow through with that intent uh, for the 18-19 school year. Um, yeah, guys, please understand when you step in that classroom, you have to be a professional. You can't wing it. There's a lot of things that goes on in schools in Saudi Arabia, to be quite honestly, that is inappropriate. Um, and a lot of you guys are observing inappropriate and because you've never been properly trained or doing things that are actually hurting your students or not, let's say not hurting your students, because as we know with John Hattie's research on the effect size, that there are very little, very little things that we do that hurt students. However, are the things you're doing the best, are they best practices? Are they very effective? So although it may not hurting students, it may not be hurting students, it may have very little impact size or effect size. So we want to do, again, we want to get you trained up, we want to get you licensed, and we want to make sure that you are observing best practices, you know, 0.4 or higher on the effect size scale. So that's our goal next year. No excuses. No excuses not to join TESOL if you don't already have one. No excuses not to get the license. No excuses. No excuse not to continue your education and get a master's degree. And if and if you're out there and you know you have a you know a Photoshop degree or you purchased your degree and it's not really real, you know. And I know there's some people out there. This time to get right. It's time to get right with yourself because again, every student deserves the right or has the right to have a professional teacher in that classroom, someone who is trained and someone who's compassionate about teaching. Then I'm going to, I'm going to beg and, and really beg and employ anyone who, um, anyone that doesn't really care to teach or um, don't only doing it for a paycheck. I'm going to really ask you to find another profession. Let let uh give make room for somebody who's really dedicated. Um, we'll get them trained up. We'll teach them. We'll get that. I just need dedicated people. We'll get you trained up. We'll show you best practices. We'll help you create teacher advocacy. Um, so again, next year, no excuses. We're gonna we're gonna move forward. We're gonna get people to get master's degrees. We're gonna get a peer members license. We're going to be a force in education in the kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Again, uh, join me in saying happy birthday to Apia and also con congratulating uh, the uh, TESO candidates for its cohort five. Uh, they will uh, hopefully be receiving their certificates tomorrow, pending the results from their examination. Thank you, everyone, for your time. We look forward to seeing you next academic year, 2018-2019. God bless you. Assalamu alaikum.